Kilma, Rashibovic, up against Alina Siliemieva of Ukraine. Three times she's been a continental champion. And she's only 20 years of age. Ramanovic wearing the red colours. Peter Kurek of Hungary, the referee for the bout. Celia Maneva of Ukraine wearing blue and Ramanovic of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the red. So if this was a team event, you were fighting number one. So much pressure, isn't it, to set out the stool and get everybody ready for their for their next bout? Well, number one, yes. If you look at it from that point of view, it's the bigger pressure, biggest pressure. But uh, I liked number one because uh, it motivated. I, I, it was easier to motivate myself when I am number one. Sitting there and waiting for my fight made me nervous. Mm. The second very important thing is that uh, I was fighting with, uh, in my team were great champions. Yes. We still are great champions. Brother Kvesic, Brothers Kvesic, Martinac, Garibovic. So it was it, less pressure on me, you know. If uh, I gave my best. Yep. And I was very aggressive fighter. I, I always it was important for me to go to for win mm -hmm. and if something goes south i got uh, teammates that are champions who will yeah, we pick yeah. it up yeah yeah so that's the reason why in that team i like doing the first the yes first round. yes i guess number five is going to be a really difficult position isn't well, it in the team yeah. number five yes you need to really be very stable in your head to be number five And we're on the female minus 68 kilogram, and there's nothing between these two. So we're coming close to the halfway session of the bout. Referee, no doubt, will give a passivity warning on a Joe Guy against Romanovic. to punch there from Romanovic. Sveni Emenieva opens the score with a one point Yuko. All of the judges going for that. Yes, you shouldn't stop in fight. Arhamanovic stopped in the, in the clinch, so the Ukrainian use it. And the Senchu will go along with that one point Yuko score. Now with the judges having the joysticks rather than the flags, uh, do, you, do you have a preference? Do you did you like to see the flags going out or? Uh, uh, no, I think this is better. I yeah. think this is better because before the judges would uh, put a flag without even seeing because other judges did it. Right, so they kind of uh, supported. Yes, yes, yes. Now. now in this is a, is a very much a private vote, isn't yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. I, I believe this is better, much better. Yeah, and and the tatami less crowded. Yeah. And the focus is on the yeah. on the fighters, yeah. Yeah. which is yeah. correct. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with that. Now, we, now there is a point only if judge sees it. Yeah. And coming into the last thirty seconds. Once more, it is Sieli Emeneva who gets a further Yuko onto the board. Romanovic still got 30 seconds, and in karate, everything can change in the blink of an eye. Great. This is a great moment.
the video review request and it's full blue 17 seconds still to go moment of this uh, punch was beautiful now we will see where it landed there's the punch from that angle it looked good didn't it what about from the side perhaps they will find another view there's the punch going in it was deep enough it was good yeah good strength, and, and I believe everything was moving forward wasn't it here we are again there's the punch did it did it oh it's on the neck and the neck can score it, yeah we will see what judges it's a, yes it was, it was beautiful will they give the score yes they will great call from the coach yeah yeah but it was not it this was not hard <laughs> it was obvious oh, yeah absolutely three points to zero 12 seconds still to go still pressure coming in from Romanovic That was a clever move out of the way from Sierra Mineva. She's really focused completely. Romanovic has taken a bronze medal, but in the A series, she hasn't been a medalist at senior level in the European or World Championships. We've got a frozen screen there, so I'm not quite sure how you can make a judgment on that one. Yeah, I didn't see it still. But it's been rejected. It stops it with a side kick. Just 1.6 seconds still on the clock. So in this situation, Romanovic, she has one second, or 1.6 seconds on the official record on the score. She's got to get at least three points and force an error in one second. Is it game over, do you think? I believe that the only possibility for Romanovic now to win is to make somehow Ukrainian to do Chikoku. Yeah, to do error. That's on the only. The that's only the only thing that's left yeah, really in yeah. in the time. But it's also it's very difficult to do it. But that is uh, somehow a beauty of our sport. It's not only fight. You need to fight, but you also need to be somehow a chess player in that moment. You, you to have to fight and you have to think very yeah. clearly. Let's say, yeah, 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 yeah. Very yeah. clearly. Strategically yeah, yeah, and tactically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's uh, some discussion going on with the referee and the officials at the table. And I think it's more than uh, one point six seconds. That's the uh, yes. It could be that the that the clock didn't yeah. stop. Yeah, yeah. when the referee called Yame and, and was allowed to run on. So that, that may be adjusted. So you have a situation here where Romanovic is hoping that there will be more time, but there isn't. Straight in, she makes the attack. This was very, very close. Wasn't it? Very yeah, close. Yeah. Jogai, almost. But that's a three-point uh, win. And she had the sent you.